So, this is good. We got a block in there. Um, one thing I wanted to explain, well, now that we've got our basic code and we've got a block set up, you know, we had to go through that phase of just getting the basic code. And now we can actually go in and do the magic and make this content dynamic, fetch some data from the database, and display it here. Um, before I do that, I wanted to kind of explain one thing about this defined Moodle internal die, which you'll see everywhere, and it might be a bit confusing, but it is really telling us, um, it's, it's basically telling us that this particular file is only accessible from inside Moodle, and not by navigating directly to it. Because every page in Moodle, in the URL, you can see exactly what's happening. We're, right now we're on the my index.php page. We could go and find that. Every single URL, of course, lead directly to a file. This file will not have defined Moodle internal die like this, because this is a page where we're allowed to hit it externally, like from the URL. So that's why this is fine. All this page does, all any Moodle page does, is end up echoing some HTML straight to the page. Any page that doesn't echo HTML is going to have a die switch at the start, because we don't want to be able to navigate to it unless it's going to give us HTML. And you can see the difference, by the way, like, if we go to version directly, we going to get a blank dead page like this. If we look at the inspector, okay, it is nothing there, but we still loaded something. If we go and instead change it to some obviously non-existent file, we get not found instead. So that's also kind of showing you that, um, you know, users could try to get access and hit these files directly. That's why we need to stop that and just kind of protect them a bit by putting that die switch at the start.